Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on May 21st, 2022, with your Totally Still the Weekend RimWorld mod updates and uploads. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will be live streaming on YouTube and Twitch from noon to 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time or 1700 to 2300 UST. I've plucked plenty of mods I've shown on this series into the list. For today's mods, several very popular, almost essential mods got an update this week and some retextures that are tasty. Let's dive in. Smart Speed by Sarg Bjornsson is a mod you should have, even if you don't play modded. Sarg rewrote the code entirely from the ground up because this mod is old, as in before Harmony old. With this refresh comes new features. Head to the mod options and set how each speed affects the game. Four times not fast enough? Make it faster. Smart Aging by Sarg Bjornsson allows you to adjust the rate pawns age. Want to play colonists across generations with another mod that allows babies? On older colonists, you might get more birthday diseases, but if you don't like that mechanic, disable it in the settings. Think animals age too slowly? How are you going to get a herd of elephants and thrombos? With accelerated aging, those long-lived races you add with humanoid aliens races will actually feel long-lived. To add some physical changes to go with your aging pawns, you might like graying hair by Arky. It's funny to see 18-year-old male pawns with full and thick beards and the elderly 80-year-old pawn with vibrantly colored hair. Graying hair will cause older pawns to have gray hair. It starts at 40 years old and their hair is fully white at 60. Think 40 is too young? Change it in the settings. It won't affect celestials and immortals, and humanoid alien races will start getting gray hair when they hit their equivalent of 40 and 60. Making a pawn younger with the Biosculptor won't change their hair back to normal though. Use a styling station to give them a more youthful look. Rim HUD by Jax has been updated and is another of my mods that you must have. Get information quickly and easily. No more need to check every pawn's tabs for info like skills or mood. If you already use it and notice that you can't see the rest bar for wild animals, that's now default. Re-enable it in the settings if you don't like taking the chance insectoids wake up when you're stealing their jelly. Most of the changes apply for displaying by default for prisoner and slave colors, suppression bar for slaves, the resistance and will of prisoners, certainty to ID religion, and fixed presets for dubs bad hygiene. Are you in dev mode trying to troubleshoot something and some things get the strange character text in places? It's helpful information for the mod maker about translation files, but for you and me, no pseudo translate by Lazy Cat will turn the text back to normal. So the strange text isn't the mod breaking, necessarily. But why give yourself that uneasy feeling that your mod pack is all going to fall apart? Looking for some vanilla apparel with more details like buttons, pockets, or chin straps? Tastier Vanilla Clothes by Al9000 adds these details to dusters, parkas, cowboy hat, toque, simple and advanced helmet, and more. Looks like Al9000 isn't done, so expect to see this mod update with more clothing and perhaps clothing with styles. Taste of Vanilla-ish Arachne Race by Icy Cheesecake is a complete retexture of the Arachne Race mod, originally by Mornix and being continued by Leo. Like the name, this retexture changes the appearance of the Arachne into something that looks closer to the vanilla style. Arachne have the simple black eyes of vanilla and their sprite, when nude, fits vanilla with less detail of their parts. A bit family friendly or perhaps streaming and YouTube friendly. If you enjoy a fantasy colony and four elf races are not enough in 021 Forgotten Realms by Neuronic17, Forgotten Realms, Elves, and More by Chillgates adds High, Wild, Sea, Snow, Star, Shadar Kai, and Ancestral Dark Elves for a total of 11 different elf races. Other included races are Asimar, Deep, Rock and Forest Gnomes, Gnolls, Water Genasi, Mongo Folk, and from Magic the Gathering's Ravnica world, Simic Hybrids. Each have minor stat changes compared to humans. 021 Forgotten Realms is not required for this mod, but it is recommended. Victor has updated their recently released mod, Super Soldiers Unleashed VFE Ancients Patch. These are adjustable tweaks to Vanilla Faction's Expanded Ancients. 
And with how many resources you can pour into a singular pawn, this mod removes the minimum fail chance for the gene tailoring pod, meaning at a certain point, you won't have to worry about your pawn just straight up dying. Stop your layup from being so cramped with every linkable having an increased max linking range of 50 up from 16. You can have more add-on buildings per gene tailoring pawn, and this also means a pawn can have more powers. But do you really want to put that much power into one pawn? What if they turn on your colony? Trader Gen by Hosea Solar adds a little bit of variety to traders beyond just bulk goods, exotic goods, etc. traders. Orbital traders will now have specialization and have available some potentially rare or useful items. Some specializations are bionics, medicine, organs, side casting, or even wealth. Enable or disable them individually in the settings. You can also change the amount of silver, visitor, caravan, orbital, and settlement traders have on hand. That soul tribal pawn could have on them thousands of silver if you wanted. You can make slaver orbital traders appear even with a high population colony. It has mod support for plenty of popular mods like trader ships, Vanilla Trading Expanded, and other Vanilla Expanded mods, Zoological Orbital Traders, Expanded Prosthetics and Organ Engineering Regular and Forked, and more. With new Orbital Trader names, what glorious combination will you find? That wraps up the mod updates and uploads for May 21st, 2022. Hey, come join me in the Discord and show me your colony. Do you design for beauty, or do you just make a bunch of rectangles?